Hello, true duelists. My name's Craig Fee, and welcome to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Update. That's right, in news you've known about for six days, there was a ban list for the TCG, and once again without any warning. And once again in the middle of a YCS, in fact. Count your nickels, folks, because it's weird that it's happened twice now. But in three years, that'll be called the standard model. Still, following two months of a Tier 0 format whose biggest shakeup was the rise of stun alongside resentment for the state of the game by the plentiful number of people who simply don't like Tier 0 formats, most people were ready for a change and probably a ban or limit to some number of Snake Eye cards. So it may have come as a shock to some people to not see a single fire card was actually hit on the ban list. With bans to Link Karibo, Barone, and Borolod Savage, the list did a fantastic job at hitting all of the not fire cards in any meaningful way. And that is to say, while Pure Snake Eye is weaker by virtue of lacking Omni Negates, both fire variants are weaker for the loss of Link Karibo to play around hand traps more easily, but realistically speaking, like, Still great cards, still a good deck. Fire King Snake Eye is posed to be a damn good deck, if not the best one, since, you know, it wasn't really hit. Link Karibo's absence will surely be felt, but are we really gonna pretend that Link Karibo was the sole card that elevated that deck to top tier contention? There's also, of course, the fact that no deck was actually really hit if you ignore those three extra deck monsters and praise Xenu, the banning of summon limit, because fuck that shit because like anti-spell is also limited, but for the most part, it was things coming back off the list. Title is free, Magispector gets Kieran back, and by Magispector, I of course mean Pendulum Piles. Protos and Colossus are back to make duels less enjoyable because Konami simply hates fun, I suppose. And if you don't believe me saying that they hate fun, I need only remind you that Konami is the one that printed Summon Limit in the first place. Tell me I'm wrong. Pearly gets an extra delicious memory back, and even the mascot of the semi-limited list, Destiny Hero Malicious, has come to three. It's making for an interesting take on the game, I suppose, and I'm definitely interested to see what people will lab up to be the new best decks, and just what people are willing to pay for Nemesis Corridor to tech in Colossus, because the number one thing Yu-Gi-Oh players want to do is stop playing Yu-Gi-Oh. We'll never understand why, but it will continue to be true. And you won't have to wait too long to see what people might be labbing up, seeing as how there's a YCS this weekend. Yeah, YCS rallies taking place, giving us a quick look at what we can expect at locals the following weekend. When Jesse Cotton or some other pro player brings some spice, and everyone's like, yep, that's it, that's what we all have to deal with for the next month or two. <laughs> Sadder, it's just going to be more Fire King Snake Eye, because this cards are still just crazy, so whatever you feel like, whatever you'd prefer, bet on that. And thanks to that ban list, we get to take a look at the last premier event, it turns out, of the Full Force Fire format, with YCS Guadalajara having taken place this last weekend. Home to some 833 players and a grand total of 24 posts from the Konami blog, of which two of them were not pairings or standings. That's impressive. If you're curious what they are, it's the introduction and announcement that the YCS was happening and then the winner. And then other than that, pairing standing, pairing standing, pairing standing, pairing standing, top, 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 final. <laughs> it's sick, dude. Sick. No wonder Yu-Gi-Oh players don't like to read. There's nothing to fucking read on the blog anyways. Oh, uh, where, where, where are we at in this script, though, okay? I don't really have a whole lot to tell you about this YCS because it's a dead format. Like, don't get me wrong, the people who played in it did so to the best of their ability, and it was valid while they were playing it, but... There's nothing new going on here. It's a pretty well set in stone format. Top 32 has some amount of runic stun. Can you believe it? Can you, like, it's neat that Fluon Dereez did well. Holy fuck, mom, get the camera. Like, sure, top 16 salad, a little different. Not expected, not entirely predicted, but like, like <laughs> beyond that, I don't know, seven voiceless voice top spots in top 32. Truly mind boggling. Uh, the winner of this event ultimately was Christian Urena, who won his second YCS in a row after winning the previous YCS right before this. So it's like, boom, boom, back to back. That's fucking talented as hell using a pure 
full power snake eye list of course so a huge congrats to him and if you want to know you can check out the back-to-back -back championship winners youtube channel where he went over his deck and his plays literally just one of the best players giving away information and if you disagree with that take fucking you go win ycs's back-to-back -back or some shit dude i don't care and so fire format ends with a bang and then probably not at all actually because as I mentioned, the fire cards aren't really been hit, okay? So I'm probably not done. It's like there's full force fire, and then there's no horsey <laughs> fire, and that's the two formats. So either way, congrats to Christian, and so long horsey. So uh, the, the reprint was not enough because we only had five months with it. So sucks to fucking suck. And in some news from Legacy of Destruction, we've learned a majority of the rarities for this set because leaks do not exist on this channel. I saw what happened to Tatsim and I am not fucking around. So if you ask me, the, if you, I don't know what leaks are. Why are you bringing up vegetables in the discussion of Yu-Gi-Oh? That's, that's my clever, haha. -ha, get it? Leaks. There's a leak in the boat. I'm <laughs> fucking losing my mind. Fans of Yugi's deck can, of course, expect to be paying out the ass because what is nostalgia bait, if not a synonym for Yu-Gi-Oh! in its entirety, with Yugi's deck having four secret rares of the set. Rika or Ragna Rika will be getting two, and the Light Sworn has some ultras to no shock because Ultra Rare and Minerva are simply an iconic duo at this point. Shout out to prize cards from 2016. Nightmare Throne gets an ultra as well because U Bell players gotta pay a little bit for that deck. And shockingly, Tempai is reportedly very affordable, which is a lovely little segue into this next bit of news. Because Konami did release their standard promotional video of the upcoming Legacy of Destruction set, and this in and of itself wasn't particularly noteworthy. They do this for most of the core sets, but in part of plugging to get you to buy those new cards, they mentioned Tenpai, and of course it's synergy with Trident Dragion, which shout outs to them for confirming by, by their metric how to say that card's name, because I've heard people just say it without the eye, and I'm like, there's a fucking eye in that card's name, why isn't it? Anyways, this card is uh, something that hasn't been reprinted since 11 years. Is the most recent to date one in 2013 in the Mega Pack 5D's Cool Guy Edition. So uh, yeah, the long story short, you saw a card that was worth a dollar a handful of months ago go up to about a hundred depending on which rarity it is you got. Konami does seem to be aware of the card's newly found scarcity to some degree, since in the video they even mentioned looking through your collection to find one, and if not, just ask a friend. Which led to great posts like this, because yeah man, hey, you got a, you got a spare hundred dollars I can just bum for you for a little bit? Uh, un understandably, people were a little bit upset by this, as it's yet another in a long line of expensive cards to be able to play this game competitively. But Konami would ultimately have to make a post saying they don't condone the harassment or threats of violence made against employees, because I guess that YouTube video got so much fucking hate and, and like just bad shit on it in the comments that they had to step up with threats being made to the individuals shown in the video. Now, I don't think it's out of line to be upset that Trident Dragion hasn't got a reprint, but it is out of line to make death threats to someone over a card game because you shouldn't do that. You should instead ask a friend. <laughs> no, 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 you should not ask a friend to make death threats and you should not make death threats. It's fucking, you can instead of being a petulant 13 year old tantruming boy who just lost a Call of Duty or other bad thing, you can just be a fucking reasonable adult and be pissed that you can't afford it and then go, yeah, that sucks, but that's not a reason somebody should fucking die. Okay, let's be at least halfway decent, okay? Just, just decent. Be a dude, not a dick. That is the golden rule of life, I can assure you. So, yeah, if you want to go you poke fun at them and be like, hey, uh, I, couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't buy Legacy of Destruction, so I'm asking a friend to, I, I don't fucking know. If you want to make a joke about asking a friend, go ahead. Don't fucking throw a tantrum and threat violence because of a card that debuted in 2009 that nobody gave a shit about up until a few months ago. At this point, we should all be aware. You should just buy like a playset of every card and then just sit on it. That's that's the only solution. That's the only solution, as stupid as it is. Uh, time is the enemy? Yeah, fuck it. I said it out loud. I don't, know what, I don't know what version of the script that text is from, but I've spoken it, so let's just move on. 
to the sponsor. That's right, shout outs as always to the LIFD magnetic display. The best way to support my channel currently and the true duelist approved way to place all your snake eye cards in the video and then be like, yep, I didn't see any of this shit on the ban list. Snake, I don't see any of them. Get it? I don't. 15% off if you want one of these displays. Promo code YGOSTRATS15. Uh, you can type it in at the checkout. You can click the link in the description. You can do whatever the hell it is you want, just as long as I get money. <laughs> Thank you to LIFD for the support, and of course, thank you for watching. As always, I've been your host, Craig Fee, and make sure you subscribe to YGO Strats, not only to impress your smoking Italian wife, but also to occasionally see me use this gun, and also so that you can be a true duelist.